Hi, welcome back to How to Be a Working Comic. I'm Dave Schwenson, and um, well, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm going to hold up the book. I'm author of the book How to Be a Working Comic. We've been talking about promotional material recently and uh, listing some of the things you need on your website and your promotional packages that you send out to uh, talent bookers, potential clients, or even after you get a paid gig, how they can advertise you. And the one thing I mentioned was a reliable way to get in touch with you. That would be your telephone, cell phone number, uh, or your email address. Now notice one thing I did not include on that list was your home address. There is no reason to ever include your home address on your resume unless someone is sending you a check or they're sending you a contract. Otherwise, there's no reason for anyone to know where you live. Oh yeah, you know I'm going to have a story about that in a minute. But if anyone needs to know your location, put down the largest city near you. Okay, if you live in Pittsburgh, if you live in Cleveland, if you live in Chicago, if you live in Denver, uh, you can put those big cities down in case some local clubs want to get in touch with you if they have a last minute opening or a showcase, anything like that. But I would never put my home address down, and I'll tell you why. I mean, let's be honest here. There's plenty of people out there that you really do not want to have your home address. I promised you a story. This is it. I was working with a comedian who, uh, well, let's face it, she was very attractive. She was very funny and getting very, very popular. Now, if she's watching this, uh, I'm not going to mention her name, but she knows I'm talking about her because uh, this was a very scary thing that she went through. Uh, she was uh, booked to perform in a comedy club. Of course, she went up there. They loved her. They wanted her to come back. But when she left, the talent booker, the comedy club owner, would throw the material, her, her uh, promotional material that had all her information on it, her home address, her phone number, everything, they threw it in the garbage. Well, someone uh, got a hold of that garbage can, looked inside, and found her headshot, again, very attractive, and how to get in touch with her. So he started calling, and he said, oh, he was another comedian and just wanted to trade information and things like that. Well, it turned out she had a full-blown stalker. She had to move, the police were involved. Okay. I don't want to get into all the scary details. She's safe. She's fine. She's pretty famous right now, too, and doing well, and I'm very happy for her. But it's just a reason why you do not want to put your home address on any of your promotional material. Phone number, uh, website, email address. If you need them to mail you anything, you can use a post office box. But like I said, no one needs to mail you anything unless it's a check or a contract. All right, I hope that's helpful. Um, subscribe to this channel called How to Be a Working Comic. My name is Dave Schwenson, and until I see you again, uh, you know what I always say, keep laughing.